transit, I've argued uh, previously, is, is sort of being burdened by uh, an incredibly wide array of expectations being labeled on it. Public transit is actually quite popular. Uh, lots of surveys show that people have really good feelings about public transit. Ladling so many expectations onto a particular transportation mode uh, might make it harder to figure out what it is we're trying to accomplish with that mode and how to measure success uh, when we do. Pretty much since 2007, per capita ridership has been eroding. The, the costs of service are going up, right? So, so we're spending more. Uh, urban places have been growing, and over time, we're having more and more people move into an area. Population growth was covering the fact that declines in per capita ridership were manifesting actually quite a bit earlier than absolute declines. We just have been putting more and more money into improving services, increasing service, and we're actually with each incremental uh, addition, we're getting fewer and fewer riders. Public transit is, is, uh, is not like fire protection, it's not like attending public schools. It's something that is very concentrated with respect to households, with respect to space, and with respect to operators. When we got to about 2011, 2012, we started putting that service back out on the street. Okay, but what happened is we didn't see riders follow that. This is really important to understand that public transit, for the most part, has private for-profit origins. Mexican foreign-born households, which have typically been the lower income, very high transit ridership households, down 66% over this 15-year period. That's where your transit riders are going. They bought cars and they're now driving around. The biggest growth in, in uh, car ownership was actually uh, before the Great Recession. Um, but overall, uh, you can see the transit ridership, if we hadn't added all those cars, likely be down a little bit. We spend a lot of money on carrots to say, oh, come on, Metro's great, we're doing all these services, come on over, ride transit. We mandate plenty of free parking, we do everything we can to sort of make it as easy as possible. We raise the gas tax 12 cents and people are in, in hysterics and they need to, to, uh, to overturn it. So, but if we can't do that, I think traditional transit use is in a really rocky road for the next few years. And it may call LA's remarkable investment in public transit into question.